alors qu'avec le projet sûr et avec l'élaboration des notes de politique, en tout cas, ça nous a permis d'avancer de, sur des décisions, comme on dit, éclairées. It has enabled seven countries in Africa to engage into effort to really translate evidence into practice, bringing together uh, policy makers, researchers, stakeholders, so that they could discuss on priority health issue, provide evidence so that the decision maker at the end of the day could consider the most up-to-date evidence available. The SHOW project has had a number of achievements. We have built a team of enthusiastic champions for evidence-informed health practice. They have developed policy briefs that are focusing on high-priority issues within the health systems. These have been used to host policy dialogues, which have enabled us to bring together key stakeholders, policy makers, researchers, to discuss high-priority issues within the health systems in the African context. Bien, je pense que uh, l'élaboration de des notes d'information stratégique au policy brief, euh, qui, dans un deuxième temps, est soumis lors d'un dialogue, euh, d'un policy dialogue, ou lors d'un forum délibératif, à d'autres partenaires, pour qu'ils euh, comprennent le bien fondé des, des, des différentes options stratégiques qui sont retenues, est une très bonne méthodologie. Euh, cette méthodologie va permettre à nos pays en voie de développement, euh, ce sont des pays à ressources très limitées, euh, à utiliser à bon escient les maigres ressources dont nous disposons pour euh, veiller à la santé de la population. Le SHARE Project a aussi établi de nouvelles façons de générer des comme such as rapid response services that have previously not been fully utilized within the policy making cycle. For me, the capacity building uh, aspect of the shared project is the most important part. Uh, because we learn it how to approach a policy brief, how to conduct policy dialogues, how to look for evidences and great evidences, evaluate systematic reviews. These are very basic tools for somebody to continue working on policy briefs. So the capacity building aspect is very, very important. One of the strong elements of the SHORE project has been the strong technical support uh, that we um, received from uh, the Norway Knowledge Center, McMaster uh, University, uh, WHO, um, Karolinska, and other partners who are working, and also our fellow African partners. The second important is the networking. For example, from our, our experience, when I, whenever we face some problems, we communicate with the Ugandan team. And uh, the Zambian team, for example, were trying to consult us about misoprostol because they were writing a policy related to misoprostol. So the networking is very important. The capacity building is very, very important. I can remember with the first policy brief and policy dialogue that we did, that was with uh, mental health, it was so overwhelming and should I say emotional? Like, you know, it was a very, it was, um, it was like a moment in time that you would remember. You're like, this is what we're meant for. This is what we're here for. Because everyone turned up, everyone we invited turned up, and everyone seems to participate, you know. So that was, that was just awesome. That was groundbreaking for us in Zambia.